गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट टूडेज लेक्चर इज अबाउट एब्जॉर्बन एंड द ट्रांसलोकेशन ऑफ मिनरल सॉल्ट हाउ द प्लांट्स एब्जॉर्ब मिनरल फ्रॉम द सॉल सोल्यूशन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इट रिक्वायर टू बी क्लियर अबाउट द टू टर्म्स दैट इज एड्सॉर्प्शन एंड एब्जॉर्बन एड्सॉर्प्शन इज द अकोमेलेशन ऑफ ए गैस और ए सोल्यूट एट द contact surface between a solid or liquid or between two immiscible liquids where as absorption process there a molecule or ion penetrates into a body or cell through a membrane it is not a surface phenomenon now what is the site of mineral absorption the minerals are absorbed by the roots which are present in direct contact with the soil solution some of the workers are of the opinion that the elongation zone and the maturation zone of the root apex are capable of absorbing nutrients and supplying them to the shoot now what's the mechanism of mineral absorption broadly divided into two passive and active passive where the driving force is physical and active where the driving force is energy passive absorption of ions and molecules is a spontaneous continuous process and proceeds towards equilibrium whereas the active absorption is not an not a spontaneous and does not proceed towards equilibrium the passive absorption occurs along the concentration gradient whereas active against the concentration gradient in passive absorption transport occurs through layer of protoplasm between cell wall and the vacuole whereas in active transport it usually occurs across the protoplasmic membrane that is plasma membrane or tonoplast so it is also known as a pump now the mechanism of passive absorption or transport an absorption of ions and molecules that are that, that is propelled by physical physical force is called passive absorption the various modes of passive absorption are categorized as follows diffusion first of all the diffusion process the movement of ions and molecules from region of higher to lower chemical potential along the concentration gradient involving no energy facilitated diffusion the passive absorption of solute mediated by carrier certain carriers probably some proteins act as shuttles for a passive transport of ions or molecules across the membrane the carrier selects out and binds certain molecules to form solute and carrier complex this complex then diffuses across the membrane by simply rotating 180 degree centigrade in the membrane and finally releases the solute towards the inner side without any involvement of energy next one is ion exchange mineral elements are absorbed by plants in the form of molecules or ions ions can be positively charged or negatively charged when a positively charged ion such as k plus is ab absorbed by a cell either a positively charged ion like h plus is displaced or a negatively charged ion must accompany it so as to maintain the balance electrical balance the positively charged ions that is k plus magnesium ions calcium ions exchange with hydrogen ion adds up to the surface of the cell wall similarly anions exchange with free hydroxyl radical 
आयन एक्सचेंज मेथड और मोड ऑफ पैसिव एब्जॉर्बन कैन बी वाइडली explained by the two theories that is the contact exchange theory and the carbonic acid exchange theory now next mode is don an equilibrium how this occurs and why this is required to maintain the electrical balance the outer membrane is impermeable to certain fixed anions and the membrane is permeable to various cations and anions so the transport of cations and anions will come to an equilibrium but to maintain the electrical balance that created due to the these fixed anions on the outer surface of the membrane more of the cations need to be diffused across the membrane so the don an equilibrium explains the accumulation of anions against concentration gradient and and that without the participation of any metabolic energy next one is the mass flow of ions kramer in 1956 is of the opinion that the ions move through roots to the shoot along the mass flow of water according to this theory an increase in the rate of transpiration causes increase in salt uptake so mass flow of ions occur due to transpiration pull now each of the mode we will see side by side number 1 diffusion as you can see in the picture the movement of ions or molecules from a region of higher towards lower chemical potential is diffusion next one is the facilitated diffusion as i have discussed it involves a carrier these are proteins certain polypeptides antibiotics produced by some bacteria are being identified as carriers and these are called as ionophores certain ionophores like valinomycin gramycidin nigricin these are each one is selective for a certain cation and can be saturated with that cation at higher concentration as you can see in the picture how the transportation of certain solutes ions is occurring with the help of carrier proteins so this is facilitated diffusion after facilitated diffusion i have discussed about the ion exchange ion exchange process how ion exchange occurs that is that is being explained by the two theories first one is the contact exchange theory and the next one is the carbonic acid exchange theory as you can see in the diagram the contact theory contact theory based on the ion exchange from one adsorbent to another without the involvement of any free electrolyte an ion which is adsorbed not absorbed adsorbed attaching to the surface surface phenomena attaching as you can see h plus ion previously the h plus ion it adsorbed to the root surface and k plus is adsorbed 
adsorb to the clay micelle now they are oscillating in a region known as oscillation volume these cations or anions which are adsorbed to the surface of root membrane or clay particles oscillate in a limited area so they oscillate in a such a manner that oscillation volume of h plus overlaps to that of k plus this results in the transfer of h plus to the clay particle whereas k plus to the root surface this is how the contact exchange process results in the absorption of potassium ions now carbonic exchange acid exchange theory depicts that the soil solution plays an important role and uh, as a root cell uh, respires it releases co2 this co2 combines with the water and forms bicarbonate this bicarbonate soon dissociates into h plus ions and bicarbonate ions hco3 uh, minus now the k plus attaching to the yeah that is uh, adsorbed to the clay micelle combines with bicarbonate to form potassium bicarbonate what it forms potassium bicarbonate so this potassium bicarbonate soluble in the soil solution but absorbed by the root this is how the two theories explaining ion exchange transport mechanism now the next mode of passive absorption was down an equilibrium i have said earlier that the outer surface of the membrane the outer surface of the membrane is impermeable to certain fixed anions the cell membrane being permeable to cations and anions but certain anions are impermeable normally both anions and cations diffuse into the cell in equal number until an equilibrium is reached now the equilibrium has to be electrically balanced too now to balance the electrical charges some more cation concentration should be there in the internal solution so as you can see the number of k plus ions are more in the cytoplasmic region as compared to the extracellular region this is to maintain the electrical balance created due to the impermeable fixed anions so this is how down an equilibrium theory explains the accumulation of ions does occurring against concentration gradient but not involving any metabolic energy so it also this mode also comes under passive absorption now the last mode of passive absorption is the mass flow of ions diffusion higher concentration to lower concentration mass flow bulk flow mass flow bulk flow of ions occurring towards the root surface Kramer said that the ions move through roots to shoot along with the mass flow of water. How this mass flow is occurring? The the force responsible for this bulk flow is said to be transpiration pull that is created in the leaf due to the loss of water vapors. in the process of transpiration so this is all about the mineral absorption occurring by the passive mode what we have seen just a summary what we have seen 
that uh, mineral absorption occurring by the two modes that is passive and active and uh, passive does not allow any energy active driving force is energy and the different modes of passive absorption categorized into diffusion that is uh, movement from high to low chemical potential facilitated diffusion with the aid of carrier ion carrier proteins and next one is the ion exchange that is that is positively charged ion exchange with H plus whereas the negatively charged ions exchange with hydroxyl ions. Next you have seen about Don and equilibrium how the imbalance created by the impermeable fixed anions is balanced by the extra movement of cations that is more cations move towards the inner side of the plasma membrane that is movement occurring against the concentration gradient without involving any energy and last one was the mass flow or bulk flow of ions resulting due to the transpiration pull this is all about the passive absorption of minerals in our next lecture we will discuss about the what are the different ways of active absorption of mineral salts. Thank you.